Hi, everybody. I am back with a lip toll wig video for you. Um, this is like kind of like a multitasking wig video. I wanted to show you this wig, Brooklyn, by Aesthetica Designs. This is my third Brooklyn. And this is the shade R1226H. And I have to say, out of all three Brooklyns, this is my favorite. I love the color. I love the dimension. She's just a really great wavy wig. But there are a couple of other things that I want to touch on um, when I get into further explaining about this wig. But before I... Before I go on, I have to tell you, this has been one hell of a morning. When I was getting ready, I noticed that Chippy was nowhere to be found. And that makes me very nervous. Lo and behold, I went into our bedroom and there he was on the floor, chomping at the bit of one of my lipsticks. And I, uh, in the first place, it was a MAC lipstick, so I was really upset because it wasn't an inexpensive lipstick. Um, in the second place, I looked down at the carpet, and let me make it 100% perfectly clear, I hate carpeting. My hatred of carpeting runs so deeply that when we were looking at homes, I did not want to buy our townhouse because, in my opinion, there was too much carpeting. Um, we've since remedied the fact and replaced some of the carpeting with hardwood floors, but in the bedroom, there's still carpeting, and I hate it. So anyway, I looked down, and there was a ton of lipstick smeared all over the carpeting. All I could think of was, thank God the husband is not home because I would have had to hear, Kathy, what did you do? You leave your lipstick around for the dog to get it. What is the matter with you? You need to sink. Yeah, I sank. I sank really low at what I said to this dog after I saw the carpeting. But anyway, I went into the closet, took out some Goo Gone, um, said a Hail Mary and followed the instructions, used the Goo Gone, and it worked beautifully. So the carpeting, as much as I hate it, looks good as new. The other thing is I didn't get much sleep last night because I threw my back out. So like, no matter what way I move, I'm like, uh oh, it's like, I'm standing there and I'll just move a certain way and it's like, oh, so yeah, um, I didn't get much sleep last night. And to, add to that, I spent three hours at the DMV yesterday renewing my license and it gave me an epiphany. Our work week as Americans should be four days and we should have a three-day weekend. I am happy to work a 10-hour day, four days a week, in order to get that extra weekend's day. Mm -hmm. Because I, I'm sorry, I just need more time. That's it. How about you? Do you need as much time as I do if you're working? Okay, so anyway, that's out of the way. I know I get chatty. Um, when I was a young girl, my nickname was Chatty Kathy after the doll because I talked so much. I did get a comment on another video that I do talk too much and this poor person was begging me to be quiet. I felt bad because they were very respectful in their criticism. But again, if you're looking for a review, that is just like 100% business and like no humor or fun. I am so sorry, but I am not the person for you. Um, I'm more the person that's like, come over to my house, grab, grab a cup of coffee, grab a water. 
This early in the morning, don't grab the wine, but it's afternoon, you can do that. And here, grab a chair, sit next to me, sit across from me, because it's just us having a little talk. So that's it. Now, let me get back to the reason for this review. Sort of review, but not really a review. Okay, this is Brooklyn. As I said, she is in the shade R1226H. She's a nice brown with blonde highlights. She's a monotop. This is the third Brooklyn that I have. And I have to say, because of this color, she is my favorite. Uh, there's a slightly different wave pattern with every wig. Basically, it's the same, but there are different nuances with each wig that just gives them a slightly different kind of appearance. Maybe there's a little bit more wave on one side than another. Maybe the ends are a little more bumped than another wig, whatever the reason. I happen to love this color because the dimension of the wig really shows through and it makes me realize how beautiful Brooklyn is. But I also like really big hair. Maybe it's because I was born in Queens, New York, so I'm a born borough girl. And maybe it's because I grew up most of my childhood out on Long Island, which is another mecca of big hair. And even as an adult, I lived in Manhattan for many years during the big hair years of the 80s. So big hair and I go back a long way. So I want to show you something. Now, out of the box, this is kind of little hair for me. She's nice. She's full, but I like her bigger. So I'm going to show you how I make my wigs bigger. Now I'm going to take her off and pretend I just, hold on, we're going to do this kind of backwards. Pretend I just took her out of the box. Okay. Here's the box. Here's the net. I took her out of the net. I'm standing up in the bathroom because I put my wigs on in the bathroom. Now I'm taking her from the inside bottom by the tag and I'm shaking her. Right, I'm cowboy. I am very rough when I'm shaking because these are synthetic wigs. You don't have to treat them like they're little children or like they're something incredibly delicate. They're synthetic. And sometimes I shake so much that the adjustable strap comes undone and that's no big deal for me. Now, here's Here's the mono parting space. So you can see, you can basically part her within the confines of that mono top. So now I will put her on. You can see already she looks bigger, but I'm not done yet. Let me adjust the ear tabs. Let me make some parting space. Okay, so you can see already that she's bigger, but I'm not done. What I'll do, I'll take this comb. Now, if you don't have one of these John Renault combs, I suggest strongly that you purchase some. I will try to put the link to my Amazon store down below. I purchased these off of Amazon and I have nine of them. I love them. They're in different purses. Half the time I lose them, but I still find them later on when I'm using a purse that I haven't used in a long time. Thank God Chippy hasn't gotten to these yet. And I don't want to jinx anything. So this comb is great for like fluffing the wigs up, see? But what works even better 
are your fingers. Take your fingers and kind of cup them and then just kind of go through. Sort of like you have an itchy head because maybe you didn't wash your bio hair for three weeks or something. And just go through and kind of lift and bring out. Lift and bring out. Lift and bring out. And then you can even take the front hairs and kind of tease them with your fingers. Like this. And that's it. Brooklyn is bigger. I think Brooklyn might be the biggest borough in the city. So I'm not too sure. I'm not good with geography. But look at how great she looks. And I'm telling you, you use your fingers, she's going to stay like this all day. Now, I don't use any product. I don't use hairspray. I don't use wig hairspray. All I use are my fingers. And I am that person that once I put a wig on in the morning and I go to work, I'm not running to the ladies room five times to see how my wig looks or to see how my makeup looks. It's like I'm a one shot pony. Once it's done, it's done. And towards the end of the day, if I do notice that maybe it needs to be fluffed a little, I'll just sit there, fluff it, and that's it. So that was a relatively easy thing to do. If you want to make your wigs look bigger, all you need are your hands and this John Renault comb. Now, um, again, I'm, I didn't receive this from John Renault. I didn't receive this wig. I purchased everything that I am wearing in this video. So I just wanted to make that a point. But I have to say, for a wide, you can use any wide tooth comb, but this is so great because it just fits in the palm of your hand like this. You don't have that long handle to deal with and you can just like fluff, just fluff. It's so amazing. Like I really love this. Now, I'll, um, before I go, I'm gonna touch upon something else. It's the end of the day. I just came home from work. What do I take off first? Well, my bra, I take my bra off first. Then the hair comes off. And when the hair comes off, I'll inspect it. And then I'll just take my wide tooth comb. And I will very, very gingerly and very carefully comb out maybe any naughtiness, if there is any especially around the nape, because I find that no matter what kind of a wig you wear, whether it's long or short, the nape always just needs slight combing at the end of the day. So I've combed her. Then I will turn her inside out, thusly. Then I will take the net and I will Place her in the net, making sure everything, all the fibers are in the net. Place her back in the box and then put her in the wig closet. And then I take my wig cap off. I swear, this is how, this is really how I live my life at home. I'll take my bio hair. Tie it up and that's it. Like the wigs come off at home. When I'm cooking, this is how I cook. When I'm cleaning, this is how I clean. When I'm chilling, this is how I chill. I honestly think that if you don't have, how can I put this? If it's just you and your husband, if you're an empty nester and it's you and your husband, you can just abandon the wigs while you're at home because I think that gives longevity to the wigs. If you are a young parent and if your children are young, 
I think that your kids will love you enough without your wig on that you will be able to take it off and just say it's mommy's personality that's going into the box. Kids are great. Kids are resilient and kids get it. They understand. So I still have bio hair and I know a lot of you don't. So maybe you feel uncomfortable not wearing a wig around the house. My suggestion is to get a short, inexpensive wig to wear around the house. This way, if you're cooking, you don't have to worry about the wig getting messed up. If you're cleaning, you don't have to worry about accidentally getting any cleaning products on a really good wig. Save the inexpensive wigs for home and for chores within the house. Then when you're ready to leave, put the nice wig on. It's always good to have a good hair day and it's always good to go out in public looking your best. So that's it. Have a great, great day. Um, think about what I said about that four-day work week. Doesn't it make sense? So that's it. My bio hair and I bid you adieu. I'm, I think that's the right word. I don't know. I, my pronunciation is bad. My bio hair and I bid you goodbye for now, and I will be back later. Take care and have a blessed Sunday. Bye-bye now.